welcome once again to vehicle maintenance and repairs.com Gary De La Cruz your mechanic and host nice summer day today December uh, behind me I've got a Ford RAV RAV4 it's about a 2013 model uh, we've got all sorts of problems with this car it's got a misfire I need to do a service and I need to do the brakes back and front dispatch so I'll be breaking it up into one or two videos okay but without further ado let me show you the car this is a RAV4 Toyota a RAV4 okay according to the engine number it's a two liter okay petrol uh, let me just take you inside the car and of course when you have the key in the ignition and you have the door open uh you know you get that buzzing sound so we'll close that you know it's got a nice uh, display over there you know that's uh, probably one of those um those dvd displays all right and then of course uh you know we have our normal dash when you put the ignition on you get all sorts of warning lights and so on got all the controls on the steering you know for the uh, for the telephone and so on so yeah very nicely laid out and it is toyota toyota is one of the best selling brands in south africa and this is a rav4 which is a permanent uh, all-wheel drive all right so without further ado um let's get going yeah so the first section that i am going to tackle is uh, basically the misfire which we have on this car i'm going to show you how to basically pinpoint you know where the misfire is coming from with it being a fuel injection you know there are a couple of tips and tricks on um, isolating the problem and sort of uh, um, identifying, positively identifying the problem. So let me show you how to do that. So on the RAV4, we basically have a misfire on this car. You can see the way the engine is shaking. Okay, so how I'm going to do it, I'm going to basically take off each, because it's an independent coil system. Okay, it's got well, one coil per cylinder. I've taken this one off the engine's gone even worse okay i put that back so obviously the misfire is not on that cylinder i'll go to the next cylinder and uh, take that uh, cap off and you can see the engine is gone worse again so it's not that cylinder we'll go with the next one number three and we'll take this plug off the coil here okay and um, you know just very finicky clips sometimes just be careful that you don't break them and then ah oh, there's no difference it's still idling the same okay and then we'll do check the last one and see if that makes a difference and yes so we have a problem with a with a uh, number three cylinder so what i'm going to do is i'm going to swap these two coils around and i'll see if the misfire is moved if the misfire is moved it means that the coil that that one coil is busted if the misfire hasn't moved it could be compression or a spark plug itself so uh, let's get the engine switched switched off and i'll just move those two around so quite simply to take the coils out uh, you know it's held down by a size 10 bolt so we'll loosen that off but first we'll take the we'll take the plugs off again okay move that take those two plugs off and then we'll just swap the two we'll just swap the two uh, coils around and uh, see what difference that makes okay. and we put number three where number two is and we put number two where number three is stick them in stick on the plugs to secure it with the uh, bolts Let's get the car started first. So let's see if our misfire has moved. We'll take off number two. And the misfire is not moved. It's still on number three. Which would mean that we've either got a dead spark plug uh, let's just try and get this clip off. Yeah, the misfire is still on number three cylinder. So let's take that coil out. Let's take the plug out and see what the plug looks like. Alright, let's get that plug out. Now with these, uh, with this Toyota RAV, you know, normally the it takes a size 16 uh, spanner or socket 
for these spark plugs but this one takes a size 14 so it means it's those very thin uh, spark plugs okay um, with a thin thread thinner thread so let's just get that plug out let's take a look at that plug yeah well that plug is definitely um, wet okay it's definitely wet it is a long life plug you know it's a long life uh, it looks like an iridium it is an iridium spark plug but I don't know when last this car was serviced so uh, maybe what I should do is just to satisfy my curiosity I'm going to turn the plugs around and put that plug there just to see if it actually is a spark plug and that spark plug is definitely wet as you can see well, let's take this one out that one you can see is pretty dry okay you can actually see the difference but just to make 100 percent sure i'm going to be turning them around we'll put the dry plug in number three and we put the wet plug in number two all right we'll just get them spark plugs all nicely tightened up here bolts in for safety I'll just finger finger tighten them down and let's see if that misfire has moved so number two was firing fine So that misfire hasn't moved. Well, we still have we still have the misfire on number three. So the other option is it might not be internal engine problems. It could be a an injector. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the injectors around as well and see if the misfire follows the inter, the, the the injector. Okay. So I'm basically doing the same thing with the injectors as what I've done with the with the coils okay I'll unplug number two's injector wire and you can hear that misfire has gone uh, bad even worse which means it's not that cylinder uh, do number three which we know the misfire is on so I'll take the plug off and there's absolutely no difference you know between um, between that uh, uh, taking off number number three okay so the misfire is there so what I'm going to do, I'm going to loosen the injector rail and I'm going to move number two, number three's injector to number two cylinder and vice versa and then we'll see if the misfire has moved with the injector. If it has, it means that our problem is an injector. If it is still the same, then it means there is internal engine uh, trouble. So once I removed the injectors, um, you know, with uh, testing, I found that uh, indeed it was actually number three cylinder injector that was faulty. Okay, um, uh, checking the rest of the injectors, um, you know, number four was also a little dicey. So what I did was I replaced two new injectors and that solved the problem. Take a look. It's actually gone. So when I pull off number there you can see when I pull off number three okay the misfire comes back when I push it back on but remember sorted out the injectors for you all right and that is how I test uh, the misfire okay it was a number three cylinder and it ended up being an injector 
Okay, I did replace two injectors because with my injector tester, you know, I tested uh, all the injectors and the injectors on number, um, number three and number four didn't look too good. I thought I won't take a chance. Um, I'll replace both of them. All right, so that is how you basically trace a misfire on a fuel injection vehicle. All right, um, fortunately for us on the Toyota RAV4, everything was quite accessible. You know, the little plugs that we had to unplug to check the misfiring. If I had not, uh, if it had not been the injectors, it would have meant that there could have been um, internal engine problems, like a broken uh, compression ring or a burnt valve. All right, but we got lucky and it was just the injectors that had to be replaced. Um, so thank you very much. I hope that this uh, um, video has been quite informative. It's helped you out, you know, um, understanding how to basically um, analyze uh, misfires. And uh, uh, please join me um, with the same car. I'm going to be showing you how to do um, the, the dispatch front and back. Um, but until next time, drive safely. Gary Dela Cruz, vehiclemaintenanceandrepairs.com. Cheerio.